Good morning, morning, JL Man. Man. I'm your host, Mia Choa. And I'm Alex Miller. And we're here with the Patriot Press, bringing you your weekly announcements. Let's start off our weekly announcements with what's coming up this week, along with Tate covering sports and Camden as our man on the street. After we have Lily interviewing and showing rehearsals from our upcoming Grease performers, Elle covering our proper dress code, and lastly, Ashley and Carly with a boys lacrosse team cake off. And now to weekly announcements. There's a lot going on on Man this week. Be sure to pick up Moe's for lunch on Thursday and Friday to support your Man fencing team. Anyone interested in becoming a manager for the Lady Patriots volleyball team can by email. Grab your tickets to come see Patriot Players Present Greece, the musical this Thursday through Saturday. You can buy your tickets in advance by scanning the QR code or purchase them at the door with cash. Starting May 2nd, the girls' volleyball team will host an open gym for anyone wishing to participate. You must have a current physical and updated paperwork to play. The Key Club is hosting a 5K color run and walk on Saturday, May 6th at 9 a.m. They will also be serving a pancake breakfast and snow cones. There will be a kid zone as well, so the whole family is invited. Come out and support their fundraising efforts for Miracle Hill. There are two more AP Environmental Science Review Days left on April 27th and 28th with Ms. Hyder and Ms. Faust, and there are several upcoming EOC Review Blitz Days coming up in May. Make sure you are ready for those final exam pads. Seniors, today through Friday are the last days to purchase your prom tickets at lunch. Tickets are $50 each and will not be sold at the door. Here's a special review from Tatiana about available parking downtown for Zen. Prom, if you don't know, is going to be on Saturday, April 29th. It's going to be located at Zen, downtown Greenville. Um, it's right across from the baseball stadium. Uh, we have the address listed on the screen, as you can see. And prom is going to be between the hours of 8 o'clock to 11 o'clock. As you can see, there's P's, like, well, the letter P all around, like, this graphic right here. And those are all parking garages where you can park. These parking garages do require pay and typically is going to be cash. So please have about 15 to $20 on you um, so that you can purchase parking because we do not have reserved parking at the um, venue. We do have reserved parking for our specials, but we do not have reserved parking for all the students. So we advise you to get there early and find a parking garage that's near and use this map to help you do that. Um, we will also have ushers standing outside of the event venue showing you local parking garages where you can park um, the cheapest ones. But please, please, please get there early because there is a game at the um, ballpark that night. So we want to make sure that everybody can get a uh, parking space and not have to walk too far. But yeah, please let uh, Mr. Ballinger and Ms. Murray know if you have any questions. You can find a senior that's a student council and we'll provide you with any of that. But thank you all so much. Have a good one. Now with Tate Workman with our sports highlight. This is Tate with the Patriot Press. This week, I'll be spotlighting boys golf and boys tennis on their season so far and plans going forward. I'm here with Frank Downs from the boys golf team. How's y'all season going so far? I mean, we're doing pretty good. We're 8-8 eight and eight right now. I mean, 50%'s not bad. Not where we want to be right now, though. What have been some of y'all's great successes this year? Um, we're third in the region out of five, so, I mean, we're going to playoffs, so that's pretty good. And then we just beat Eastside and Lawrence yesterday, so that was pretty good for us. Awesome. What's been the most teaching moment from Daryl Mann's very own, Daryl Cook? I mean, he's a, he's a great coach. He teaches us everything that we need to know for golf. I mean, putting, chipping, driving. He's a pretty good coach. Awesome. Thank you so much. Yep. I'm here with the five-year vet, Miller Vote on the boys' tennis team. Miller, how's y'all season going so far? Uh, this year, pretty good. Undefeated currently, just like last season. Uh, we plan to win state once again. Awesome. What are some of y'all's great successes this year? As I just said, undefeated. Uh, <laughs> that's biggest success so far, and hopefully state will be the biggest. <laughs> the people want to know, do you really pick your afro before games? You know, I'm not want to say that I do or not, but 
I definitely do. And I also had a headband in on it as well. Awesome. Thank you so much. Good luck going forward, boys. Back to you, Alex and Mia. Thanks, Tate. Now to Camden Oaks with our man on the street. Hey, Patriots. It's Camden Oaks with the Patriot Press. Today I asked our seniors who their favorite teachers are. Let's see what they said. All right, I'm here with... Carly Gorman. Who is one of your favorite teachers? It'd have to be Miss Murray. Thank you. I'm here with Miss Murray. How do you feel that Carly Gorman said you were her favorite teacher? I love that girl. She's going good places in life. Thank you. All right, I'm here with... Miard. Who is one of your favorite teachers? Probably Mr. LaFay. Cool. Thank you. All right, I'm here with Mr. LaFay. How do you feel that Miard Jika said you were his favorite teacher? Well, I appreciate Miard saying that. I had him for three classes, one of which was virtual. I had him for um, world history, I had him for U.S. history, and I had him for the Civil War. And I hope what I was trying to give him is Miard's got a lot of good, strong opinions, and hopefully what I taught him was how to back up his opinions with fact, do research, and um, be ready to engage with the world. Thank you so much. All right, I'm here with... Maddie. What is uh, one of your favorite teachers? Uh, I would say Miss Murray or Miss Faust. Thank you. All right, I'm here with Miss Faust. How do you feel that Maddie Johnson said you were her favorite teacher? I feel, I feel very honored. It's a privilege to have students have you as their favorite teacher. Um, we work very hard for you guys, so I'm honored. Thank you. Thank you. All right, I'm here with... Uh, Coy Hill. What is one of your favorite teachers? Uh, I would say Mrs. Anders. Thank you. All right, I'm here with Miss Anders. How do you feel that Quay Hill said you were his favorite teacher? Um, that's one of the biggest honors that I've uh, ever received. He's such a sweet kid, and <laughs> it made me happier than pretty much anything this year. Thank you so much. I'm here with Tatiana James. Who is one of your favorite teachers? Uh, one of my favorite teachers is definitely Mr. Ballinger. Um, he's been there through all, all my years, basically, with student council. He's really helped me grow as a person with my leadership skills. So, yeah, Mr. B. Thank you. All right, I'm here with Mr. Ballinger. What do you think to Tatiana James saying you're her favorite teacher? Uh, I'm honored. I'm honored because uh, Tatiana is one of my favorites. Uh, I've loved working with her on council. Um, she is an unbelievable person, unbelievable student, was an unbelievable president for us, and I know she's going to do great things in the future. Thank you so much. All right, I'm here with Gavin. Who is one of your favorite teachers? Tina Brown. All right, I'm here with Ms. Tina Brown. How do you feel that one of your students, Gavin Cummings, said you were his favorite teacher? It's always nice to hear that a student thinks that you did a good job and that they enjoyed your class. Uh, we don't get that a whole lot, um, but it's much appreciated. Thank you so much. Well, those are some of our seniors' favorite teachers. Back to you, me and Alex. Thanks, Camden. Now we have interviews and rehearsals for the upcoming Grease play with Lily Miller. This is Lily Miller with the Patriot Press. Here are some clips with our Patriot players for their upcoming musical, Grease. I'm Lily Miller. Who am I here with and what character do y'all play? I'm Jackson Serkimer and I play Roger. I'm Patrick McEwen, I play Kaniki. Uh, I'm Dominic Salvaggi and I play Sonny. Okay, we're gonna do a finish the lyric. <laughs> Go, 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 Come Go. across, even rock, cuts and lost his heart. Tita! <laughs> it's your song, you have to sing it. I thought we take two. Okay. okay, take two. We're gonna do it again. I'll give y'all more time. Y'all definitely know this part. Go. I don't drink. No, we no. swear. No. I don't wrap my hair. Ew. I get ill from one cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> Keep your filthy paws off my silky drawers. Who am I here with and what characters do y'all play? Uh, I'm Ted Adams. I play Danny Zuka. Uh, and I'm Luke Whitehouse. I play Johnny Casino. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do a finish the lyric, and it's one of the girls' songs, so good luck. I boy.
Elvis, Elvis, let me be. Keep that pelvis far from me. <laughs> okay, Luke's gonna teach me some of the dances. Okay, so the uh, hand jive, first you, oh God. so everything's like twice. And so first you pat your knees twice. Okay. And you clap twice. You go over, under, over, under, and then back, and then back. So that's, go. That's it? Yeah, that's okay. it. Yeah. And then clap, over, under. Yeah. Okay, wait. What's that? What's next? The clap. So. Oh, okay. So it's this, this. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to have to bleep that out. Sorry, Ms. Murray. Okay. <laughs> You that you it. Do it? Yeah. That you well, that was fun. Make sure you come out to see our Patriot players in their upcoming musical, Grease, this Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Back to you, Alex and Mia. Thanks, Lily. Be sure to grab some tickets to watch our school play. Now to Elle covering our school dress code for students. This is Elle Bissinger with the Patriot Press. Today, we're going to go talk to Ms. Washington about the new rules administration has implemented about the dress code. I'm here with Carla Washington. What are some new rules administration has implemented about the dress code this year? Um, thank you for asking that. As of last year, um, about a six-month process with jail man stakeholders that included myself as the administrative lead, um, jail man staff, parents, and students, and community members joined together to revise our old dress code to be more in up and coming with the current trends and fashions of today's society, as well as a simpler code for teachers and students to follow. Okay, and what are some rules that we still have to follow today? Definitely for sure. Um, although we were there to make it simpler, we still want to make sure that everything is in consideration to student comfort, um, so students can be educated in the best possible least restrictive environment and also safety. So some of those rules include like no hats with bills. Um, we do allow hats like beanie caps and so forth. No hoods on the hat. And a lot of it is just so we can positively identify a student or misidentify a student if ever an emergency were to occur. We also like for all body regions, especially the private areas, to be covered. Um, at all times, but we still do understand that current trends have changed. So like for instance, a young lady, if they're wearing like a flowy crop top, if they have on high-waisted jeans, as long as we can't see menstrual, that is good. For a young man, I know jerseys, basketball jerseys are bringing a comeback. If they're wearing a jersey, they are allowed that. But one time, they weren't allowed that. Thank you so much. No problem. Thank you. Thanks for the information about the dress code, Miss Washington. Back to you, Alex and Mia. Thanks, Elle. Now we have Carly and Ashley with our boys lacrosse team kickoff. Logan Erdley, sophomore. Hayes Denny, sophomore. Pace Will, sophomore. Trent Bynum, senior. Mitchell Garrett, sophomore. Ryan Darty, sophomore. Hudson Cremins, freshman. Thank God. Go, go, go. Oh, it got him. Oh, dude, I'm good at that. You see that? You see that, yeah, bro? I did. Oh, and a half. What sugar are you gonna put in here? Lots. Lots. Bro, what's that? Lots. Pre-game sugar. <laughs> oh, Two pounds. Two pounds. Two pounds. Yeah. Oh, Give yeah, it a sugar. No, no, no. Alright, alright, no more. We need the sugar. No more. Yeah, dude, you gotta put like a lot yeah, in there. Like, like a lot. Yeah, more than that. Way more than that. That's how much we put. Yeah, so, right. Yeah, yeah, dude, yeah, let me get broth in, bro. Let me do it. Alright, alright. Alright, check it out. Pace, whisper, whisper. Go! Bro, chill, bro. Go. Give me the flour. You're a hog, bro. All right, I got oh. this much. Let's mm -hmm. oh, really? go. All right, more. No, 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 no. <laughs> more. <laughs> more. All right, that's good. Perfect. All right, all right. That's perfect. All right, no, 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 don't put that in there. Right. Put yeah, your own tools. Use it, use it, use it. God. Dude, all right. All right, all right. All right, wait. Yeah. No, whoa, whoa, whoa. More, more. Bro, chill, dog. Chill. chill. Dude, it's in a small container for... Uh, don't cry. <laughs> don't cry over spilled milk. This is real
Thanks, Ashley and Carly. And that's all we have for you this week. I'm Mia Choa. And I'm Alex Miller. Have, have a great day. day. Go, Go Pats! Pats.